Hello everyone and welcome back to this Let's Play of The Sims 3 where we are playing a Legacy Challenge with the Chicken Nuggets Legacy family illiterity. And it's going to be an exciting episode because Jellybean and Siri are currently on their last day of school. They're going to grow up to be young adults today and I am excited. I have made the decision that they are not going to attend university. Uh, so I guess no legacy family members in this generation or in this legacy is going to attend university. And yet you have made millions. Hello, Miranda. You remind me of something. You remind me of the fact that Lacey, can you go down here to Dusty's and check if there was the... No, 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 no. We're not going to do this. And check if they have some delicious awesome magic thingy removal medicine for Miranda so she can die and join us in the mausoleum where she belongs. That sounds kind of bad, but you know what I mean. Uh, huh? Wow, it's so weird to see the game actually move ahead. Because, you know, in the last episode, Kenyon died. Very sad, very timely. It was about time, let's be real. And we also got rid of Joshua, who grew up and moved out. And uh, that is pretty nice. No, just, you're not going anywhere today, Sarie. It's your birthday in, like, ten hours? Yeah, I think, yeah, ten hours. Come on, show me your goods. And I wouldn't mind... Skill. Okay, so I guess there was nothing here right now, but that doesn't matter. We'll still check in every single day and hopefully find something. And you never know. Suddenly, you'll get a hit. Ah. Uh, it's just, it's so nice to play a Lego or a family with six members instead of eight. That is a major difference. I say as the game freezes, but, you know. <gasps> is that bad food in our fridge? I almost never see that in this legacy. I want to see what kind of bad food there is. Because, I mean, we have a ton of food in that fridge that apparently lasts for, like, 15,000 years. But apparently something has gone bad. So if the game could just listen to me and move towards the fridge, I would be very excited to see, like, open. All right. <laughs> 12 slices of birthday cake. All of them nice quality, of course. We can't have bad quality cake. I mean, look, we have plum pie from Dusty Chicken Nuggets in here. And we also have, like, an empty platter of bedding cake prepared by Azubuk, the alien mother of Tal. Like, these things are, like, 100 years old, literally. Banana cream. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> like, inspecting the fridge. Uh, 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 can we stop lagging? I want to see this. Bad quality prepared by Khan Chicken Nuggets. Miranda Chicken Nuggets. Also look again. Also look apparently made a lot here. Colin Robert. That's uh, Patrick. <laughs> Birthday cake by Patrick. <laughs> Patrick, though. Like, what the hell? Pumpkin pie prepared by no one, apparently. Cake slice. Okay, I guess that's one of the bad ones. It was a bad, bad cake slice. Yeah, it stopped stinking. Chocolate chip, bad quality. What am, why am I doing this with lazy chicken nuggets? That's not very old and lazy. Kenyon is dead. Three Kenyon Tal Tal. Kenyon Khan Tal. Colin. Okay, so, so like the oldest food we have here is made by Tal's grandfather. And Tal currently has great grandchildren. That is pretty insane. Marisol Smith wants to know if Tal Chicken Nuggets wants to go on a date. Tal is still not single, ladies. Tal is single, ladies. Because he is actually still married. Yes, they haven't talked together in like 50 years. But they are still technically married. So... Keep the sanctity of marriage, please. Okay. 
Egg roll. Egg roll, uh, indeed, Jellybean. Yeah. I know you're upset that we lost Kenyon because I don't know why. I didn't really know Kenyon whatsoever. But you get you guys better prepared for more death because I am gunning for that both Tal and Colin will die in this episode. Okay, that sounds a bit sad, but like I have a hope <laughs> that they will be unalive at the end of this episode. Okay, but <sighs> Like, how, how much of a chance is it? Like, 14%? 15%? It's not a lot, is it? Makes me kind of sad. Yeah, I'm sad for you, though, Colin. You lost a lot of your life, and you guys were together for a long time, so please don't fight with Lacey because of that. Uh, have you done your gardening today, Lacey? Okay, I know you're like close offended and stuff, but please don't like. <laughs> she just pulled him a hipster. Did you hear that? Hipster! Nope. Uh, you have it on your gardening. Nothing to garden right now. Uh, is there anything here we can make? We can make Ambrosia. One more Ambrosia, it seems. So we're gonna do that. Did we plant more Pablo trees? Life plant, life plant. Okay. We're dead. Good. Paul the chicken nuggets wants to know if Khan chicken nuggets wants to go on a date. No. Hey, Sari. You know whose birthday it is today? Both you and your imaginary oh, friend! Oh, you- no, 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 lady. I know you're in a bad mood, but you're not gonna break up with Jellybean just because you're in a bad mood. Forget it, sister. Now, this is a sound I can- Learn to enjoy. Who are you? Khan. Oh, your, your father died. I forgot. Sorry. Uh, have you read your medical journal? Yeah, journal? Yes, you have. Journer. <laughs> have you read your medical journal? English is hard. Pronunciation is hard. But it's 8 p.m. You want to check if Paula Chicken Nuggets wants to play chess with you now? And yeah, I remember. Last episode, Paula, or the episode before that, I can't really tell which episode it was, but one episode where just Paula refused to play chess with us. Rude. Is that Paula? No. Hello, Margarita Sawyer. It's a beautiful name you got there. I would read that totally differently in Norwegian. Uh, so, sour, sour, savid in Norwegian would mean like sheep. Like, look at those sheep. There are sheep over here. Sheep is delicious. Okay, okay. Uh, so it's 9 p.m. Still not too late to invite over next ranked chess opponent. Yes, I want to invite Paula Chicken Nuggets over for a chess game. Please don't judge me. Well, please arrive, because last time you kind of ignored me, Paula Chicken Nuggets. And we got a new batch of Ambrosia. Is that? Oh, okay, the Ronnie Jung. I do love that name. But, you know, it's not... You're not the one that I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for... Oh yeah, I have like max payout here. That's brain chicken, I guess, because in the basement. I have this in a bunch of like uh, community lots. I should probably have taken like a hidden room marker or something in here, but I couldn't be bothered, so. Was that... No, that's Lacey Smith. Like, what's wrong with this Polar Chicken Nuggets chick?
Like, she just refuses to actually show up. Not really sure what to do with that. Hey, Tal, even, like, your latest batch of kids is growing into young adults right now. Maybe that's a hint that you should soon die. Because wasn't that, like, he had, like, quadruplets. Aren't they the ones growing up? Yeah. Just Chicken Nuggets is now a young adult. Heath is now a young adult. Ernest is now a young adult. And Kimberly is now a teen. <laughs> okay. But everybody else, <laughs> I guess. Oh, well, look, she's actually married. No, engaged. Well, only like seven more days until we'll turn on, um, uh, turn on, uh, story progression again. So, I mean, was that, uh, was that, uh, the chicken nuggets, uh, lady we're gonna battle to the death? Looks like a man. Yeah, chat smith. Okay, but give up for now. And it seems like Lacey's mom died. Yeah. I'm gonna pretend to be sad. I mean, that lady was a genie, so she lived much longer than she probably should have. Oh, 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 oh. That was on a purpose that it wasn't tuned with the song, but like, or the jingle, but hey, it's oh, 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 oh. 11.30, time to buy some birthday cakes. Time to feed a family. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Like, can you imagine what you would say if a family of, like, especially super rich people would tell you, like, no, you know, since I grew up, we basically just had store Rob bought a uh, birthday cake. Sometimes our parents would surprise us with, like, homemade birthday cake instead. Delicious. So, I'm gonna follow my rule. I'm not gonna initiate the birthday until there's only one day left to a birthday. So, still gotta wait 30 minutes, but you know, I'll live. Ooh. Perfectionist, weak enthusiast who's hot headed but also cowardly. <laughs> An excitable animal lover who is proper but also a light sleeper. If you hear a lot of things in the background, it's my cat playing with uh, an aluminium foil ball, which makes a surprising amount of sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hi, it's early midnight. Oh, how did that pass by so quickly? Can we stop crying? Like, this is supposed to be like a happy day. Jelly Bean and Surya are growing up, and they're like going to be totes handsome and pretty. Well, nothing got under Jelly Bean's skin. He's a, a young adult. Come on. Thank you. Okay, it looks like Siri will grow up first then. I guess Jelly Bean was too sleepy to actually be of any help. Do -do -do. Rom. <laughs> so, Siri will also be a supernatural fan. Good lord, this is horrible. <laughs> yeah, there is not a lot. Okay, she can make some elixirs. Because, like, I do not want any of these things. <laughs> There's way too many animal things there. So we're gonna go with alchemy instead. Yeah, but it looks like a makeover is due here. Jelly Bean is a young adult, and he's gonna be avant-garde. <laughs> like these traits, com uh, trait combinations make no sense. But I guess no, you're not gonna break up with Siri. You're gonna stay together forever. We shall tend to treat our skill. No, I hate that lifetime wish. Earn a universe degree with perfect GPA. No, perfect body. No, no, no. I don't want any of these. Who wants to collect twenty pets in the wild? There aren't even any pets. Ah, 
I don't know. I don't want any of these. What? A, what like, okay. Distinguished director. I haven't had those in a while. I'm just a normal career, normal person who's just... Aw, tall chicken nuggets just witnessed jelly bean chicken nuggets become a young adult. Watching his loved ones age into fine upstanding adults is a lovely memory. Aw, that's actually kind of cute that they consider jelly bean to be like family. Okay, we're gonna make you guys over. You can't just stay like this, you know? No, you're not going to Egypt. If no, you're not. No. Yes, but you are going to learn your alchemy skill. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, oh no, why did I do alchemy? That's so complicated. You have to do a lot of gardening and stuff, but you can get some help from Lacey. Well, I guess we're going to make a return to gardening even more normal. <laughs> Yay. Um, but I was thinking, buddy, Jelly Bean, get to change appearance so we can take a look at you, like, up close. And also, before you guys do anything, you're going to boo-hoo and try for baby immediately. I am not waiting around when it comes to this. You guys are going to get knocked up so quickly you can't even spell pregnancy. Okay, you could probably spell pregnancy by now, but that's not the point. The point is stop eating birthday cake and washing dishes and go get a makeover. It's not that difficult. No, don't eat birthday cake! You guys have issues. What about plan outfit instead? So let's see, this was Jelly Bean. Abudosh? Abudosh. We're gonna change her hair though, because it looks kind of not nice. Sorry whoever made that, but it kind of didn't look nice with my graphic settings, most likely. But I want to show off that lovely hair color a bit. Oh, that's actually adorable. Look at him, my Jelly Bean. Bushy, 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 boo. I feel like I've done all of the male hair stuff that I like, so maybe I should go, go with this one. Mm. <laughs> Happy with that. Holy. Look at me not putting makeup on one of my guys, because I usually put makeup on one of my guys, but this time I did. And then let's dress up Siri. She didn't get the worst Mommy. hairstyle in the world, but I think there are better things. So we need to work around those boobs. <laughs> like, girl! Seriously! Should never have installed those sliders. You are the very definition of wonky boobs. <laughs> Pixelated wonky boobs. Okay, that was actually much better. Uh, okay. It was apparently something about the thing we had that I was just not working for you. I'm picturing Siri in something very, like, normal, laid-back housewifey. No, that's the wrong word. But, like, farmery. Like, ooh, we're just taking it slow. Everything is all right. We are just very relaxed and we're so pretty. And, yeah. Do, do, do. It's like a nice dress or something down here. It's like very fun. I almost used the word farmerly again. Okay, is this the first time I've ever missing like the everyday full body outfits for women since it takes forever to load? No? Didn't think so. That's a bit too high fashion for you. I was thinking something more aligned lines with these, but they also these also give her like the shoulders from hell. Well, she does have shoulders from hell, though, doesn't she? It's not like you can help how you're made. Now, you don't want to accentuate your boobs. They accentuate themselves enough. I mean, if this is with a bra, I wonder how they look without a bra. But you know what? I'm gonna go back to this one, I think. It's pretty. I also like the shoes. Very relaxed. Very serene. 
So for formal outfits that you'll never get to see again after I'm done creating the sim, because you know I never really do anything formal in this game, is to again get rid of those wonky boobs. Thank you. Like, what would a girl that wore glass outfit find to be, like, super formal? Something very... Sure, something like this. And probably a longer skirt or some pants. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Super formal, right? Show up in a wedding like this. Well, it's quite alright. Yeah, I'm already not digging. Uh, those Uggs. Seriously, I want to kill them. Okay, but you don't have wonky boobs in this one, so that's good. But I picture you sleeping with actually very heavily clothed, which sometimes has its, like, it has its charms. Yeah, Asa Basa Bimpa. Top is perfect, but that bottom though. I like that your shoes are glitching out. We're gonna keep that. <laughs> it's the remnants of her being a genie. Yeah, okay, when you go swimming, you're gonna wear something fully covered, uh, or like, not fully covered. You know, a simple swimsuit like this can still be pretty sexy, you know? Damn, you are muscular, girl! Damn! It's like Wonder Woman. But like, these legs would be somebody's fetish. I just know it. I don't really know her. You end up looking like a dominatrix no matter what I do. Sure. And then, no shoes, especially not Uggs. Ah! Uh. Accept this, except I once again see that you're wearing some type of Uggs, aren't you? No Uggs. Good job, Siri. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> and then, you guys, we're not done yet. You change appearance and you. Oh, look at him, he's so handsome. And then you plan outfits. We'll see who gets to do it first. Apparently, Jellybean will be finished first. With Jellybean, though, I have a pretty clear cut plan, and that is to use. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Hi, Sari. So, I liked your old hairstyle better, but I'm gonna do one more look around to see what possibilities we have here. Yeah, that's not the one I was going for. Go check out. Actually, that wasn't so bad on you. You get a big face, but like, in general, that one wasn't the worst idea. It brings out your face a lot more in a good way. Okay, and we're gonna concentrate a bit more on giving you some proper makeup right now, because I think the last one you had was a bit, it was the wrong color for you. And wow, I sound very gay right now, but it was true. If we actually just do a normal black eyeshadow and then just reduce the opacity a bit and give her some proper eyeliner. No, a different color. Yeah, why not? Remembering her genie times, you know? We're gonna give her some blue eyeliner. Pretty powerful, but, you know. Yeah, pretty. Uh, what if we change it around the colors here? Oh, like, we get good. Order skin color B around here somewhere. I do that pretty dark. These two, yeah, pretty dark. This is supposed to be more white, and this one actually, I have no idea where it is. It's supposed to be like middle ground. Okay, what if we and then just reduce your. I should totally become a makeup artist. Um, I just so dislike that you have like an open mouth, Sabri. But we work with what we got. Okay, it's a bit 
I'm heavy on the makeup side, but look at me trying something new as a makeup uh, artist. Because, you know, I'm a totally pro makeup artist. And then, finally, but last but not okay. least, let's check out Little Jelly Bean. Da -da. Da -da. Wiener. Yeah, Wiener. So many clothes. Ah, uh, I was hoping we would have the... Where is this? No, that's not... Is that the imaginary friend one? Really? It has a tie? I don't want a tie on my uh, little jelly bean. Oh, it keeps stretching. It's like I'm looking at some kind of pet or something. It's like, oh, he's so cute. Who's the cutest? Yes, you are. You're the cute one. Yes, you are. But he is kind of cute, you know? Charming. Okay, so maybe we have given some other clothes that we should go like pull them again. <laughs> <laughs> no. Very few people can pull that off. Colm did it! Colm did pull it off, if you ask me. Okay, what if we make over this one? Like, a, a west for me can't be anything but black. But... What about... I just want him to be a bit whimsical, since you know he's supposed to be like uh, an imaginary friend. No, but then also we do like. Let's try to get some like the jeans uh, going on here. the results I wanted. Sure, this is as much as I'm going to bother putting into, or like work I'm going to bother putting into this. Cook -a yeah, that's not a poor pop, but maybe somewhere it is, but it's not for me. I also don't get this weird cut. That must have been in like, in like that must have been cool back in like 2005. That's too formal. Now, if I can get this, with, well, that's also a bit too formal. I'm I'm missing in this game like something that's only like, hi, I'm formal. I'm wearing a suit, but it's not like I am getting married. It's not a smoking. This for me is too formal. Well, not this. I'm still a bit surprised that they have this one featured in the game. But like, I'm all for inclusive <laughs> for including things. Give you a sexy outfit there, buddy. Yeah, charms are we into. Gonna stop it there. Actually, pretty good. Perfect. Keep it. Kukupa. Yeah, perfect. Keep it. Kukupa. Oh, look at you two. You guys are gonna be so beautiful. Don't necessarily like the top there, but that's easy. Oh, yes, I like it. So, most important thing that we're gonna do in this episode is that we are immediately gonna try for baby, and they are gonna succeed. I swear, they're gonna succeed. And I have decided, like, if this first baby does not meet my criteria, I'm gonna have another one. And if that baby doesn't meet my criteria, I'm gonna, probably gonna have another one after that again. Because, like, I still am so uncertain if getting a baby at the hospital, like with genetic engineering, is cheating. I don't know. I don't want it to be. I don't want to cheat. So, unless it's like to help myself get over something game breaking. Hey, buddy, 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 maybe you should like go to bed. Uh, I, 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 what was that? 
Oh, you're gonna piss yourself. Yeah, okay, okay, stop. Stop, all of you. Stop, 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 stop. And you know what? Since now Jellybean, for some magical reason, knows how to drive, you guys are gonna go to some place where you guys can boo hoo. Okay, apparently I wasn't able to stop it. Well, I've heard about awkward first times, but this is gonna take the cake if you actually whiz yourself. And it looks like you are. <laughs> Yeah, very sorry about this. Hopefully nobody saw. Uh, but we did get the... the, 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 the ba -dum, ba -dum, right? I'm pretty sure we did. Eleanor Smith? Why is Eleanor's grave still here? Eh, I don't even... Well, Eleanor? That was somebody's daughter. Uh, I'm just thinking. Okay, well, you can actually go and apply for a job. And, um, oh, that means you need a car. Well, we have Tall here who probably can buy like 15 new fancy schmancy cars right now. Um, but you're gonna do it. Let's see here. Clone Watcher, blah 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 Probably already bought it, so you can't buy it again. That is a possibility. Yeah, it is. Talos probably also bought one then. Yes, buddy, I'm trying to check out your... Oh, there's a motormobile. Guess I just missed it. We're just gonna keep the normal code ring on this one, and that is your preferred vehicle, and you're gonna go fly for a job here. Now, Siri. Oh, wrong game. Well, good job, Delavine. You're now a background extra. Good thing you don't have a hair color that sticks out, right? Uh, but you don't, sorry. Like... I am so not sure. Okay, this one is more doable though. Reach level 10 in alchemy can be done in other ways, and I can just buy the potions that I want to use instead of making them on my own. So, this is not the most impossible skill to have or lifeline wish to have. We're going to be able to do this. Uh, but what we need in order to make this happen is that we're going to have to create. Uh, we're going to have to create. A room for alchemy, and I'm choosing the this little long room over here. So easy PC, we're gonna give you some wooden floors, like boom, easy. We're gonna give you some. Oops, no. We're gonna give you some. Sure, it didn't fit as much as I thought it would. Who cares? I certainly don't. An alchemy station. A sculpture's place? Because just in case somebody wanted to try to sculpture. And a Gem cutter, just in case we're gonna need those delicious thingies. You know what I mean? Uh, like gem powder or whatever it's called. I don't know what this is, but uh, apparently you don't have room for it anyway, so that's fine. Can I have like? Oh, okay, it's just not long enough. That was sad. 
We already have one of those, though, don't we? Yeah, we do. So, hey, let's not buy this one. Okay, but uh, that's basically what we need anyway. And we need some light, I guess. Okay, that's what we're gonna buy for now. Okay, so we go research, research. Uh, no, actually, first you can. Since you're okay, apparently we're going out here. Cool. What do we see from here? Can barely spot the chicken nuggets like the household. Uh, you're gonna go visit Dusty's. And you're gonna check out if there's anything you can buy there to help your great grandmother. I think. Yeah, great grandmother's uh, spir or spiritual problem. Well, not spiritual. Let's see here. Yes, mother. Yes. Hello. What are you doing, by the way? Still haven't got a job, have you? Okay. Lazy ass. I don't even know where Joshua lives. Well, as I've said, like, once we reach this autumn, that's when we're gonna turn on the story progression back on again. So hopefully, most of like Tal's kids and Joshua will be able to spread their genes and get some more families going. But yes, let's check out what you have here. We're just gonna buy whatever ingredient. Okay, no, apparently, we weren't gonna buy anything because. Cashier lady is being weird and odd towards us, and we're crying over our grandfather, who was 140. Okay, it's still allowed to cry. Alchemy level 2? Sure. And some recipes? Sure. Yeah, so we just found our first hunk of metal. No, girl, you did not find it. Oh, were you being ripped off? And you had a good buy. I like that feeling. Like, is here, like, she's both ripped off. But she also had a good deal. But apparently getting ripped off is a word. Okay, well, I get that. If I was ripped off too, I would also be, like, not super happy. Invest in a business? We don't have more businesses in town to invest in. Crazy girl. Okay, uh, but you should go straight in there and practice your alchemy. And um, Lacey, I know you're asleep, but I don't know why you're asleep, because you're going to the chicken, uh, Marjorie Chicken Nuggets Memorial Park. As are you, Con. And the reason why you are going there is to hopefully encounter, uh, that chicken nuggets girl we need to encounter in order to play chess. Oh, hi, Tal. What happened with you? Yeah, can we... Like, yeah. Can you try to pick up the phone? So, camera... Oh, wait, camera. Call Tim, invite over next rank chess opponent. Then, Lacey, you go back home again. The studying paid off, and three chicken nuggets learned her first elixir recipe. It's just the first step in the long, our adventurous journey of becoming an alchemy artisan, but everyone has to start somewhere. And Gabriel Seaman would like to know if Han would like to go on a date. No, he does not. But can you invite over your next rank chess opponent, or do you always have to flirt and do stuff with ladies? Pervert. Yes, I'm sure Khan is a pervert somehow. Don't judge me on this. Do you want to invite Paula Chicken Nuggets over for a game of chess? Yes, for the umpteenth time. 
pretty tired of it, but it's gonna work sooner or later. Oh, and then you go to the garden, please. And Tal, if you are really in such a bad mood, and you're also stir-crazy, then you know what? Go practice a martial arts. You haven't done that in forever. Apparently, here we have... Ooh, okay. I was like, oh, it's another basement I was just filled with stuff in order to get away with things. <laughs> Break ten more boards. Well, sure. Okay. Oh, Go here first, then, you little person that I love a lot. And you're also, like, 102 now. 101? 102, 103. Well, I guess 102 first, so I'm gonna guess 102 now too. Okay, so let's see. 102! I'm so good at this. That means the colon is also 100 right now. You guys just have to learn when to kick the bucket. Please don't tell me you're literally walking over here. Thank you. Oh my god, stop lagging. Thank you. And Lacey, you are doing gardening? Yes. Thank you. At least somebody here is listening to me. If you break something, you fix it. Jelly okay, no, actually you don't fix it, Jellybean, because you don't have any... What you can do uh, is that you can already start painting, you guys. Uh, the earlier we get on with that, the better. So sell that painting that was surprisingly beautiful. I like the colors in the background there. They actually look really good. I'm jealous. I don't have an eye for color whatsoever. But yes, now I'm getting jealous at Sims, so maybe I should stop. Do 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 do. Boom. Boom. Uh, how about you paint the life? Ugh, Delary. Uh, I don't really care who you start with, if we got a better shot at you. Oh, ooh, ooh, no we don't. We got a great shot of Suri right here. Well, great though, Ugh, can't you just... Okay, what if we unpause so you can get down on street level? I think that's gonna be pretty, pretty good. <sighs> Uh, here we go again with, like, ugly paintings. Why? What kind of, like, personality trait do you have in order to paint that ugly? Like, I'm really sorry for saying it's ugly because I guess it's, like, an aesthetic. I just don't get the aesthetic. You're even a perfectionist. Is it because you're avant-garde? Ugh, I will never know. But hey, I didn't tell you to stop researching alchemy. Oh, right, they stop after finding a recipe, don't they? I wish there was, like, research alchemy indefinitely or something. Well, we can also technically just fill out the queue with research. Oh, all the chicken nuggets. No wonder you're late to the job. You're always late to find Khan as well. Whom, by the way, I forgot. So, if she is here right now... That is Kimberly, that's the Shonda. No. What happened with her? Kimberly, are you even alive? Okay, it was just horrible makeup. Okay, good. That scared the life out of me for a few seconds there. But I don't know why I'm singing it. Come on, Lashonda! No, wait, Lashonda? Lazy. I don't really care that Tonya Exum died! Now that's the name. To Tonya X-Men. No! Paula, I want to play chess with you, not go on a date with you. I'm not yeah, trying to stalk you, I'm just trying to get my chess game ahead, you know? Stupid all. Okay, I guess this could have been a lot worse. 
and I say, ooh, who do you think you are? Saria has just improved her alchemy skill level 2. Saria is getting quicker at mixing up alchemic concoctions. Alchemic. I like that word. Saria has just learned the recipe for a flask of angry bees. Step 1. Get a flask. Step 2. Get bees. Step 3. Put bees in glass. Step 4. Close glass flask, not glass, flask. Okay, Jelly Bean, I appreciate your effort, but this is hella ugly. Suri has just thrown the flask of sleep. Okay, I'm just thinking here that Suri is probably soon thinking that she can calm down. She's wrong. If you don't have more things in your queue, I'm gonna queue up some more. Okay, you got two more in you. And something sad just happened, but we don't know what it was. After Four hours of fighting the overwhelming forces of the radioactive demon lizards of Soul Chino 8, Khan is just about exhausted. Luckily, the dropships are expected to arrive at any moment to rescue the squad. I mean, it's something. Right, Khan? I don't sure why I gave it to you. Uh, but here you go. Uh, like... Does this stack up to the rest of the paintings that we have here? It really doesn't. I'm not sure if I actually want this. Like, all of the other paintings, with the exception of probably Tal's, has some amount of prettiness to it. This does not have any amount of prettiness to it. I can't tell that this is Suri. What I'm wondering is if Suri was standing out doors if that had something to do with it. Does anybody else here know how to paint? Do you know how to paint? <laughs> Tal does not know how to paint. Get home by the way, Tal. You're just meditating and doing nothing over there. Colin does not paint. Khan, do you know how to paint? No. Lacey does not paint. It's only Jelly Bean that knows how to paint. That's pretty sad. We're gonna give it a few more shots though. Yes, can I paint? Oh my, umigosh game, umigosh, please. Please don't kill me like this. Am I not close enough to it, is that it? Or Apparently. Stacy Chicken Nuggets just died. Who's Stacy Chicken Nuggets? One of your siblings? No. Who's Stacy? I'm so confused. Robert, did you have... What kind of kids did you have? Lakshmi Martinez, it shells the chicken nuggets. Mother was Rebecca. Kinda had Lakshmi Jung, who is now Lashanda Jung. Okay, I did not know that. I don't know who Stacey Chicken Nuggets is. It's too confusing. Okay, Ellis. Patrick. That's Simpson. Eleanor Smith. Uh, Robert Chicken Nuggets, there was nobody down back line. Broke, Broke, Richington, Robinson, Robinson, so it has to be... No, like, uh, uh... Who's this Stacy? I'm so confused. Whatever. Oh, hi. Okay, I guess we're gonna try one more painting then. Uh, 
Oh my god. Why do you have to act so weird? This camera is not functioning properly. I strongly despise this camera. Just so you know. Ah! Oh! Come on! What is happening? I'm not moving that way! Stupid ass camera. You know what? You know what? You know what? Nope. Nope. Cancel. 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 We're moving this thing out somewhere where we can actually have some movement room around it that doesn't like end up being outside the wall here. Because I am tired, I'm sick, and I'm fed up with bad paintings. We're going to get good paintings. And I know we're way over time in this episode, per usual. It's a tradition to say that now. What if we place it out here in a well-lit and organized room? Dun, 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 dun. Not you, Jelly Bean. Paint the life. I'm gonna try one more time. And this time we're gonna try Jelly Bean. That's right, if everything turns out red and blurry again, it's something with your paintings. Uh, Okay, at least the colors don't look as much off as it was last time. They just look off. Well, last time it was more red, this time it's more yellow. I don't really sure which one I despise more. <gasps> Colin! My baby! Don't cry, Sari. This is sad, but also good. He'll join Kenyon in the afterlife. Well, that came out of nowhere. I did not expect that at all. Yeah, you don't have to make this so dramatic, you know? Oh. <laughs> Jelly bean, are you gonna faint? Okay, Tal. Oh, hi, Tal. Did this death bring your hair back for some reason? Hey, Colin. Behind you. Face death. That's a proud something. I'm very proud of you, Colin. You came to me late in life. You came to me as a young adult through the time machine. But you proved to me that even though I didn't trace you, you can still be a good, honorable, and upstanding citizen of this sim world. And you could still do well in a legacy. Your husband showed me the exact same thing, that you don't have to be born in the game to actually do well. So, I'm proud of the both of you, I'm gonna miss both of you. We're not gonna resurrect Colin, are you crazy? Colin is gonna join Kenyon in the afterlife, and that is sweet in its own way. Rest in peace, Kenyon and Colin, the gay power couple of this legacy. I think I'll always remember, especially Kenyon, he is gonna be difficult to get out of my head. And yes, you're very brave, buddy. Are you gonna faint one more time as well? Oh, come on! This is what you should paint instead. Okay, it's kinda cute though. Hi! Right? Kinda cute. Tal Chicken Nuggets just socialized with the Grim Reaper. He will always remember this encounter. Well, maybe you should not get to use... Okay, are you going to paint one more time? I see. <laughs> when is he going to stop painting? Because this is getting dangerous. So, while my dream was to get rid of both Colm and Tal in this episode, I got rid of uh, one of them. Which, honestly, is more than I or thought I was. So, I'm pretty happy, actually. Rest in peace, Colin. Probably the title of this episode. As I usually spoil deaths in the episode title, but like, you know. Well, oh, good lord, you are such a scaredy cat. I love you as a person.
jelly bean. But I also despise the traits that make you a person. <laughs> well, not despise. That's that, those are strong words. I do strongly like jelly bean too. It's it's kind of nice. It feels like the later I've gone into the generations, the more interesting the spouses have become. Probably because I have more time to kind of let them evolve on their own. But it's just. Well, not like I didn't like the ones in the beginning either. The ones in the middle were the truly boring ones, like the um, Anna Marie Smith, or I don't even remember if she was Anna Marie or if it was uh, whatever. And Dusty, too. It's kind of like. Eh, Miranda. Eh. And then finally, we got some good uh, spouses. Wait, does that mean I like all of the men but not the women? No, I do like Lacey. Okay, so I guess Lacey was like the first good spouse. It wasn't Ken or well, Kenyon first, then Lacey as well, and now Jelly. I enjoy all three of them. Oh look, she's playing Bejeweled, except it's like Sim, so it's like the Sim. And she's not doing very well, is she? Okay, apparently. There's only one. This game makes no sense. Why am I surprised that a game in The Sims doesn't make sense? Hey, Sari, are you pregnant yet? Oh, you're dreaming out about a baby wobble thing. I guess that's something. Uh, oh, bully, indeed. We're down to five cents in this household. But, like, should we try for baby one more time? But since, like, I can't figure out if you're actually pregnant or not. I think I heard a little by or the dum ba dum ba dum. But you can never be too sure in this game. <laughs> Besides, Jelly Bean needs a. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I guess she is pregnant after all. Well, that's great! Good news! Generation 9 is on its way! Generation 9! Imagine that! We started out all the way back with Marjorie, and now Generation 9 is on its way. Let's go all the way back here, because I want to check this out. Marjorie gave birth to Marianne, who gave birth to Patrick, who gave birth to Robert. That's Lee. Robert. Who gave birth to three kids, but like the most important one was Tal. Tal, who gave birth to Cullen. Amongst nine kids. Who gave birth to Khan. Who gave birth to Sari. Feels like I skipped with somebody here, but like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine is on its way. Ah, and it's also graduation day, not that I could care less, but... Oh, the cravings are here for cheesesteak, I guess I'm play craving. Who doesn't want to eat cheesesteak, am I right? <laughs> 12,960. Well, I still haven't collected the money from around town. I think I'm just gonna wait till, like, almost the end of the entire Let's Play or something. Okay, Siri, there's apparently a graduation day for you and uh, Jelly Bean. I don't know when that is. Duh. Graduate at City Hall. And everybody has to go, because that's just the way it is. At least you guys are carpooling, that always makes people happy. Well, at least, like, eco-friendly sims. Well, can we leave? Who are we waiting for? Nobody, right? Oh, the entire family is in that car. Please don't crash. That would be a very sad end to this let's play. <laughs> I was like, nope, sorry, you failed. They died in the car crash. Hey, that's Miranda! Miranda! 
Hi! I'm gonna get you out of that curse of being a fairy some, at one point. Okay, so I predict that Suri is most likely to become a mother. <laughs> and Jellybean is most likely to take over the world or whatever. Mav Coraza. Less Jiller. Less Jiller. Distifer Cravings. Distifer Cravings. Jariel Makins. Jariel Makins. Yat Mang. <laughs> Yat Mang. Buying wrong. Buying wrong. Ron Yester. Ron Yester. And then imagine holds up jelly beep. <laughs> Makes no sense. Hey, look, who are these? Oh, it's Tal's kids. I guess they're graduating today too. Wow, there were a lot of graduates today. It's like the class of chicken nuggets, basically, because every one of the the chicken nuggets like their family. Do. Jelly Bean graduated honors. Serene was actually the class of Electorian. How oh, cute. Jelly Bean has graduated from Far Excellence prepar Preparatory School with highest honors. The future is bright. Serene has a high Classmates vote to her most likely to burn down their own house. The future is bright. Well, Jelly Bean wasn't voted anything, apparently. That's kind of sad. I wonder why. Does it have to do with traits? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like the deferred out the house. It just doesn't sound good no matter what uh, what way you put it. Oh well we were gonna we were supposed to end the episode like one in game hour ago. Uh so we're gonna end the episode here. I'm just gonna put Lacey to do garden duty before I do so. Well, I'm not good at Binding Gamer. It's uh, Generation 9, it's on its way, which means that we are really in the end game of this uh, Legacy Challenge. So, until next time, I've been a Binding Gamer. Thank you for joining me. See you then. Bye bye.